Hello, um, welcome to the Curling Champions Tour live production. It's my pleasure to present you Benoit Schwartz from the team De Cruz. How are you today, Benoit? Oh, pretty well, pretty good. Thanks, Mark. So you just uh, came back from the last game. How was it? Uh, well, we had a good, good game. Actually, both teams had a good game. We were lucky enough to take the W in the end, but yeah, pretty happy about this. The thing was, it was more like a little bit of football um, result, 2-2 two, two after uh, eight ends, right? 2-2, two, two, three, oh, three, three, I three, think, three, I think right? yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty def defensive in, at the beginning, so it was a pretty quick game, but in the end, yeah, a couple of key shots that made the difference, I think. An interesting thing is about your team is that you are playing the last rocks and uh, Peter de Cruz is the skip. So does it happen sometimes that you are you don't agree with the decisions, but Peter shows you how to play? Well, I think the th the the thing is, Yen, is that you're okay with the decision, and as soon as you you are okay, you you can really focus on what you what you want to play, and I think that's the most important part. Before you are you're in the hack. You have to be really aware of what you want to play, and I think that's what we try to do together. I'm uh, very surprised or very pleased in, in a way that you are actually a young player and already in the beginning you play all the time the last uh, rocks. How do you do it? I mean, remember the uh, championship, the world championship in where you played in Basel, the last rocks? Well, well I guess I, I like to do this, and otherwise, I mean, I don't think I chose anything I mean we're a team like we play like this and I accept what I have to do and I think that all the players should do this to perform at the best and yeah that's what we do. You will be again the alternate uh, to the uh, Olympic uh, team of uh, Michel? Yes. yes. So I this will. is actually good then you could play any position there? Well any uh, Yes, that's that's what you want. That's what you expect from the alternate that he can fit every position. Yeah, and I hope if we need to, I will be able to 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 accept this role. Which is so. Do you have a different uh, preparation now because it's actually your uh, Olympic season, or what do you think about? Well, for me, obviously, being fifth man for the Olympics is pretty good pretty big responsibility and and um, pretty big um, yeah motivation too so I try to to use this as an extra motivation to to train even more even better and yeah that's what that, I think that's what you have to do if you want to perform at the best level yeah. so you just came back now from uh, a curling trip to from China so how was it well it was very nice it was uh, really nice to, 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 to play in another country than Europe or Canada, for example. So <laughs> for it was pretty big. And it's always nice to play in a big arena, in a big building. Um, so yes, we, we took a lot of experience there. Uh, lot of, played the, some of the best teams in the world. So for us, it was a pretty good experience. And I heard that you walked the, the Great Wall as well. Yeah, we went to the Great Wall. We we met all the most famous sightseeing, of course. <laughs> it was pretty nice. It's good for team building and makes good memories. Yeah, I mean it was nice. I mean we, we I just follow a bit the pictures in the in Facebook, so it's it's nice that you have not only curling. That I feel anyway that your team is. Uh, I mean you play now how many years already with the same team? Uh, we've been together for now about four or five years, I think. Five years probably. And yes, we are we're knowing each other pretty well now. So I think it's more important in curling. If you don't know the other the three other guys, I mean it's tough. So yeah, pretty good thing for us. So now uh, after Basel, what is the next? Uh, what are the next tournaments you're gonna be? Well, this month we we're gonna train October, because in November we're in Canada for three weeks. So next event for us is uh, Champagne at the end of the month. And uh, until until this, yeah, we will have some team trainings, uh, trainings in the fitness, everything. So preparation month, I would say, yep. till uh, Champery, where we wanna we wanna be good, yeah. as always. <laughs> that is uh, 26 uh, October, but uh, then you will go to Canada for three weeks. Yeah, we're going uh, to Canada one more time this season. So very very lucky to to to. To go there to play the real 
some really good, good competition. Yeah. I mean, uh, not every team have have this opportunity. So for us, it's very big, and I think we are aware of this, and we will do everything to to take everything we can do, <laughs> everything <laughs> to, we can take. For me, yeah. Well, Benoit, thank you very much for the thank interview. You Mark. It was very nice. Yeah. So good luck My for pleasure. the next uh, games. Huh? Thank yeah, you. Thank you.